That seems pretty simple. You know what that tells me? You don't need to ask the Pope permission to headbutt a priest. But Dr. Phil, that wasn't all of it. That wasn't even the end. The worst part is the last part of the test, and it probably was the most disturbing of all of, all of them. You know, I gave them some multiple choice questions, some easy multiple choice questions. Even a mortgage broker could answer them. All right, Steve, if you say so, we're going to have to take a look at those. really bad. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. That reminds me of an expression where I come from. I mean, a rooster only has to crow so many times before mama knows that the hen house is full of graham crackers. So, which results really surprised you the most? Well, to be honest with you, Dr. Phil, there was one thing that really stands out. Now, just like the Wonderlick test, there were 50 questions and each one of the owners had 12 minutes to answer them. But there was this one guy who did so poorly on the test. Now, we're probably going to start calling him the Vince Young of the league. Uh, I mean, let's put it this way. To borrow a line from you, he's a few fries short of a Happy Meal. You know what, Dr. Phil? He only managed to score eight points on this test. The poor guy just doesn't know anything about football, or anything about life for that matter. Hmm. Now, how exactly does a guy like that support himself? Oh, well get this, Dr. Phil. He's starting a church in Bellbrook. Wow. From the sounds of that guy, he's lucky he's starting that church, because it doesn't take a whole lot of brains to be a pastor. You know, Steve, those are truly some interesting people that you have. Maybe we should wrap up here and book you on the Springer Show instead. Those results are saddening, disturbing, and funny, all wrapped up into one metaphorical hush puppy. Listen, son, with the group of people that you have to work with, I don't think even I can help you. I mean, the rabbit hole doesn't help the rabbit unless blink, blah, blink. Once again, you are not making any sense to me at all. Well, let me summarize it here for you, son. I'll go slow so you can catch it. I don't think you're going to compete in the world's emotionally strongest man competition anytime soon. 
And remember for our viewers as we close today, don't color inside the lines of someone else's expectations. And that's all I've got for you today. Beauty and the gift of life. Gift of, oh, let me back up there. That's okay. Scratch. Interactions with Dr. Phil, take one, hopefully the only take, because this is a pain in the butt. And three, I forget my first one. You're going to have to be more than a commissioner today. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. Uh, you have to realize. Draft on, draft off. Draft on. Draft off. Okay. Right after this break. Do that one more time. I'll kick the camera. Well, we'll take another look at those answers. Okay. Well, we'll the take answers. a... Are we doing the answers right now? <laughs> Today I'm sitting here with Steve. And Steve's got his knickers all on a bunch over some Wonderlick test that he gave to all of it. Sorry, right. just Steve do it again, again whenever you're ready. Hope you got a lot of tape. Now you got a whole, full one. He keeps piling it on and he doesn't even have anything silly to say. That's terrible. Let's try it again. Take four. And I got a feeling we're about to lose some of our customers. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Last year there was just way too much drama in all the leagues. And I was just hoping... Nope, gotta start over and do something different. There's an expression where I come from. I mean... A rooster? <laughs> you guys try it again. Uh, look at him over there. I just can't figure him out. Uh, this latest leak that he's... Created the invention of the draft league. The dreaded draft league is just. He had to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you a very special episode of the Dr. Phil Show. We hope that it's not used for your entertainment, but that it's used to allow you to learn. Want to do it again? Yep. All right, we'll leave you Jack, let's go right into it. Ah, oh, let me think a little bit.